Introduction Hello, Rohit. How was your school? The school was fine, Dad. How was your play? The play was good. I was on second rank. That is very good. Congratulations. Thanks, Dad. Look at that car, Dad. What does it release? Make the glasses up. The substance releasing from the car causes air pollution. These substances also affect health and causes asthma-like diseases. Can't we stop it? We can control the air pollution by using different techniques. In this lesson, you will learn the air and water pollution. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe air pollution and its control Explain vehicular air pollution in Delhi Discuss noise pollution Describe water pollution and its control Discuss a case study of integrated waste water treatment Air pollution and its control the contamination of air, water or soil by substances that are harmful to living organisms is called pollution. The waste matter or substance that contaminates air, soil and water is called pollutant. Air pollution is defined as contamination of the atmosphere by gaseous, liquid or solid waste that affect human health and the health of plants and animals. Causes of Air Pollution Burning of fossil fuels is one of the major causes of air pollution. The use of chlorofluorocarbon in refrigerants and aerosol propellants increases the level of air pollution. Sulfur dioxide is one of the major components of smog that results in acid rain. Air pollution is also caused by the particulates formed by the substances such as dust, pollen, and other organic materials. Increased road traffic also increases the level of air pollution. Control methods of air pollution An electrostatic precipitator is used to remove dust particles from the exhaust gas stream. Operation of electrostatic precipitator As the waste gases containing smoke enters into the precipitator, they first get negatively charged by the negatively charged metal grid and after that, smoke particles are attracted to the positively charged collecting plates. From them, the dust on these particles get fall and clean air is passed into the atmosphere. Scrubber Scrubber is an apparatus that is used to remove impurities from gas. Operation of Scrubber Water with chemicals is sprayed with high pressure through nozzles into the air flow. Some of the water evaporates, especially if the process air is hot and disappear with the exhaust. Evaporated water is replaced by fresh water and chemicals. Dust and pollution products from the process are removed periodically through the drain. Effects of Air Pollution Asthma is a chronic disease caused by the pollutants present in the air. It leads to lung cancer. It leads to the development of chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. Exposure to ozone gas makes her eyes itch and burn. Carbon monoxide gas combines with hemoglobin to lessen the amount of oxygen that enters our blood. Controlling Vehicular Air Pollution, a case study of Delhi. Delhi has grown across sectors, industry, transport and housing which lead to increase in air pollution. This results in increased health risks 
which are reflected in a rise in respiratory ailments. Delhi's air pollution level is up by five times in eight years. According to the report, the people in Delhi breathing poison. The respirable suspended particulate matter, RSPM, in the Delhi's air is touching 250 micrograms per cubic meter, four times the normal level, while the concentration of nitrogen oxide is 50 to 55 micrograms per cubic meter, that is above the permissible upper limit of 40 micrograms per cubic meter. These pollutants cause diseases such as bronchitis, asthma, lung infection and birth defects. Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981 The Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act was enacted by the Parliament in 1981 with an objective to prevent, control and abatement of air pollution. The following are the important provisions of the Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act. No person operating any industrial plant in any air pollution control area shall discharge or cause or permit to be discharged the emission of any air pollution in excess of the standards laid down by the State Board. The State Board can also approach the court to stop any person from doing air pollution. No person can establish or operate any industrial plant without the consent of State Pollution Control Board shall complete the formalities to either grant or refuse consent. Noise pollution Noise pollution refers to sounds in the environment that are caused by humans and that affect the health of human or animal inhabitants. There are various sources of noise pollution. Some of them are Traffic it is a major source of noise pollution in urban areas. The traffic on roads is increasing day by day. Railway stations The engine of train is an important source of noise pollution. The shunting and switching operation of train increases the level of noise pollution. Source of noise pollution Industrial source the machines used in industry are major source of noise pollution. To reduce the noise, it is recommended to grow trees in the industry premises which act as absorbent of noise. Other sources The equipment such as boilers, compressors, generators, etc. also cause noise pollution to some extent. Water pollution and its control. The addition of harmful chemicals to natural water bodies is called water pollution. Water pollution has many sources. The major sources are the city sewage and industrial waste discharged into the river. Only about 10% of waste water is treated and the rest amount of water is discharged into the water bodies. Agricultural runoff and water from the fields into the river is another major water pollutant as it contains chemicals and pesticides. Domestic sewage and industrial affluence Domestic sewage refers to waste water that is discarded from households. It is also called sanitary sewage such water contains a wide variety of dissolved and suspended impurities. The impurities included organic materials and plant nutrients that tend to decompose. The main organic materials are food and vegetable waste, plant nutrient come from chemical soaps, washing powders, etc. Disposal of domestic waste water is one of the major problems. Biochemical Oxygen Demand BOD. The amount of oxygen required by the microorganism to decompose the organic substance in sewage is called biochemical oxygen demand. The amount of organic material that can be decomposed in the sewage is measured by the biochemical oxygen demand. It is the most important parameter for the designing of sewage treatment plant. 
Dissolved oxygen is an important factor for determining the quality of water. The higher the concentration of dissolved oxygen, the better the water quality. Biomagnification Biomagnification is the process by which large concentration of particular chemical such as pesticide dichloro-diphenyl trichloroethane are raised in organisms higher up the food chain. For example, the concentration of DDT is increased at each trophic level as shown in the diagram. Eutrophication The process of nutrient enrichment of water, which often leads to the loss of species diversity, is called eutrophication. The addition of inorganic compounds and decomposition of organic wastes in water bodies increase the nutrient content of water. It causes rapid growth of algae, especially the blue-green algae, and may totally cover the water surface. This type of algal growth is called algal bloom. The algal bloom often releases toxins in water and inhibits the growth of other algae. Aquatic animals may also die due to toxicity or lack of oxygen. Industrial effluents. Industrial effluent is the waste water generated by the industrial activity. Industrial waste consists of both organic and inorganic substances. Organic wastes include pesticide residues, solvents and cleaning fluids. Effluents can also contain inorganic wastes such as brine salts and metals. Effects of water pollution Effects of water pollution Polluted water is unsuitable for drinking, recreation, agriculture and industry. It diminishes the aesthetic quality of lakes and rivers. Contaminated water destroys aquatic life and reduces its reproductive ability. It is also hazardous to human health. case study of integrated waste water treatment. The sewage treatment can be done in integrated manner. The treatment of waste water generates environmental reactions that are not in the welfare of the humans. With the waste water treatment, it reduces the consumption of water in irrigation of green areas, city recreational lakes, golf courses, etc. The term human yore refers to human waste which is recycled by methods of composting and which can be used for gardening or agricultural purposes. Did you know? The report issued by Kolkata on Thursday, October 18, 2012 at 14.36 hours says, Air quality in cities of West Bengal is reasonably within the prescribed limits according to the West Bengal Pollution Control Board which has been monitoring 12 basic parameters. The parameters were respirable particulate matters RPM, PM10, PM2.5, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, ammonia, carbon monoxide, benzene, ozone, benzopyrene, arsenic, lead and nickel and were being measured at four monitoring stations at Sham Bazar, Behala, Barakpur, and Durgapur. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The contamination of air, water, or soil by substances that are harmful to living organisms is called pollution. 
Air pollution is defined as contamination of the atmosphere by gases, liquid or solid wastes that affect human health and the health of plants and animals. Electrostatic precipitator and scrubber are used to control air pollution. The Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act was enacted by the Parliament in 1981 with an objective to prevent, control and abatement of air pollution. Noise pollution refers to sounds in the environment that are caused by humans and that affect the health of human or animal inhabitants. The addition of harmful chemicals to natural water bodies is called water pollution. Major sources are the city sewage and industrial waste. The amount of oxygen required by the microorganism to decompose the organic substance in sewage is called biochemical oxygen demand. Biomagnification is the process by which large concentration of particular chemical such as pesticide, dichloro, diphenyl, trichloroethane, DDT, are reached in organisms higher up the food chain. The process of nutrient enrichment of water, which often leads to the loss of species diversity, is called eutrophication.